In this section, we will understand how to work with the Keto REST API. This video is about creating a REST API. First of all, REST API, REST stands for Representational State Transfer. The path or URL is the route, the way to resource. A resource is any kind of logical object in the business model. HTTP is most often used as transport protocol. JSON is used as the preferred data format. API stands for Application Program Interface. HTTPS ensures that communication is encrypted between the client and the server. A REST API is very often made secure with BASIC or OAuth2 authentication. There are seven HTTP methods that can be used. We will only use the first four. The GET HTTP method is used to retrieve data like a list or a single object. The PUT can create or update an object. The POST can submit data or update an object. It can also create an object. Some developers choose to leave out the PUT, so they only use GET, POST and DELETE. The DELETE method deletes a resource. The HEAD method only gets the header. That means that there's no body. Options queries which method are possible. Patch updates a partial resource. The REST endpoint. The first part is the protocol. You can see here it's marked with red. The second part is the domain. It is here marked with a blue color. The third party is the resource. This customer in our case right here, and it's marked with yellow color. The fourth part is a list of query or request parameters. Notice that there can be the same key can be there multiple times in the request parameters. Hypermedia. Hypermedia tells the client how to continue or what to do with the current resource. Here we have an example. We are querying the mydomain.io slash user slash 12345, which is the ID. And then we get the, the user returned with the user ID and the name, which is Mike in this situation. And then we get some links. The links are the options or the other endpoints that we can call regarding this resource. And here we can see we have href, rel, and type. There will often be multiple links. And we could also see that it was actually represented by a list. href, that is the target URI. It tells the client which endpoint to use to access the resource. The link relation type, this is the relation to the current resource. Attributes for target URI, like type, media, title, comes after this, these two. And the type is which HTTP method that should be used. Hate OIS stands for hypermedia as the engine of application state. Kato does not have a standard feature that generates hate OIS response yet. But let us write some code and try to imitate the hypermedia response. Let us create a new project. In IntelliJ, by pressing File, New, Project, I will look for the content negotiation. I will take off JSON and also make sure that we have the routing enabled. I will leave the rest of the, the features unmarked, unchecked. We are using Gradle, we will use Netty, and we will use the latest version of Ktar 132. I'm pressing Next and next, and let us give it a good project name. And I'm naming this Kato Hypermedia Response. So let us say that we have an endpoint, which is Let us say that we are dealing with a library. And in the library, we can actually ask for a specific book, if that's what we want to, to look for. Then we can do it like this. Book ID like this. And of course, we could just return the book if that's what we want to. 
but we would actually like to create a hypermedia response instead. But first of all, let us create the book. I'll create a data class named book. This book will have an ID, this is a string. It will have a title, which is also a string. And it will also have an author. And the author is also a string. And we want to create a data class, which is a book response. In here, we will have the one book. And then we will have a list of links. We'll call this links. And we have not created this class yet, so let us do that. That is also a data class. Hypermedia links, or just link. It is a list of these. Like this. And one hypermedia link. It has the href. which is a string, and that is the location of where this, that is the endpoint that we can actually call. Then we have the relation. So which relation does this have to the current resource that we are standing on? And in our situation, we also would like to add a type. So this is a type, the HTTP method that can be used here. Okay, let us try to return a book so first we create the book we we'll create a new book in this situation right now we actually don't care about the book id we'll just leave it and then uh, we could actually extract the book id let us do that actually so i'll say Book ID equals call dot parameters dot get and then we get the book ID like this. So then we can set the book ID like this, but we will invent a static title which will be used for every time we use this endpoint right here. So the title could be how to grow apples and the author could be Mr. Appleton like this and this could actually be null so let us just or rule that it can be null right now we know that this is going to be present and now I can create my book response. So let us do, let me do that. So we have the book response right here. Book response. And the book response takes a book. We have that right there. And then it takes a list of hypermedia links. So let us create that list. Well, hypermedia links equal to list of and then we can create some links right here hypermedia link the href it can be just the next level of the endpoint but we can actually also give absolute endpoints if that's what we want to so we can actually write http and then local hosts ADA, that is also acceptable. And then we write library and book. And in this situation, let us create a checkout 
facility. So if you want to check out the book, let me just write check out. Of course, we also need the ID. That means that the, in our situation here, again, we need the book ID like this and then check out. So that is the, the total URL. That's the absolute URL we have right there. Then we have a relation and that can be check out. And the type could be get. So we know that we need to use the HTTP method get in order to check out the book. We can create as many links as we want to, but let us just keep it simple in our situation. We want to, let us create one more link actually. So I'll just duplicate the, these lines right here. Hypermedia link. And in this situation, instead of checkout, then I want to reserve it. Let us say we want to reserve it instead. The relation, reserve. And so now we have reserve and we have checkout. So we could actually create these endpoints as dummy endpoints just to see if uh, we'll get something returned. So that means I can copy this line right here, copy. I can add it right there. I'll add the, I'll use a book ID uh, argument like this. And then we will respond with call dot respond text. I'll just respond with some text right here, which will be, you checked out the book and then the book ID. Uh, of course, we need to set the book ID to something. That means that the, we need to take it from the parameters. So we say, well, book ID equals to call.parameters.get book ID. Oh, sorry, it needs to be in quotes like this. And then we have the book ID. Let us do the same for reserve. Duplicate the code, control D. And now we just reserve instead. And we write you reserved, reserved the book, reserved the book, book ID. And of course, these responses right here, they are not hypermedia. We should also have created those as hypermedia responses. But let us first start the server and see that it actually works. Oh, I forgot to finish the book response. Let me just do that. All right, hypermedia links like this. And then we say call the respond and then book response. And then the content negotiation feature will convert this into JSON and it will use the JSON utility classes. Let us try to run again or build the project. That is okay. Just got a warning. Let us try to run the application again and see if we can run it. Now it's running. Hello world on the root endpoint. Let us try to go to library, book, and then I want to look for book 2233, enter. And this is how to grow apples and the author is Mr. Appleton. Furthermore, I got some hypermedia links down here in the bottom. And we have the absolute endpoint right here. And I can actually click on them in my browser if that's what I want to. Of course, if I was a, a client like a curl or maybe a UI, then I would, could take this uh, href right here and then I could use that afterwards if I want to check out the resource checkouts. But what happened now? Book ID, checkout, library book. It should actually be okay here, and, and then we should have gotten the response. Let us just try to see what we got. Web network, we let us just refresh and see what we get. We get a 404, it is not found.
so this endpoint here is not matched by anything. Did I misspell something? Library book. Let me just copy paste it just to make sure that I did not make a spelling mistake somewhere. It looks correct. Um, it should also be fine with the book ID like this. And then check out. Let us rerun the application. Oh, I can see the error. We should not add. I made a mistake right here. We should not add this part right here. We just need to add the route, not the server itself. And that's why we do not get any match. So let us run the application again. Now, after I fix this little bug that I introduced. So let us try again. First of all, we go to the book. Go, let's go find the book. Then we use the hypermedia. This time, let us try to reserve the book. Reserve the book. You have reserved book 233. Thank you very much. I could also try the other one. Check out. You have checked out the book 2233. So this is really, really good. Of course, this is not a hypermedia response that we got in the end. We could change that, of course. Then we would just create a new data class just like we did before. So that could be a data class uh, book reserve response. A response. And in this response right here, we want to have a message. This is a string. And then we want again to have a list of the hypermedia links like this. And of course, we could reserve a response. And then we can actually, instead of responding text, then we can just respond and then we can select an object, which is the book reserve response. And first of all, we have the message. And then let's create an empty list. So we do not have any hypermedia. We do not have any links in this situation right here. Empty list like this. Let us try to rerun our application and see how it looks now. Oh, that is an error here. I think we are missing the end. Have a closing bracket right there. Let's run again. Run application. Let us go to our book, which is right here, and let us try to reserve the book again. This time now we actually got a hypermedia response instead. We have the links which are empty, and we have a message right here, and the raw data looks like this.